this is the Little Missouri River. So that is what is in Albert Pike region. This is where it flows into Lake Greeson. So we're not going to be on Lake Greeson per se. What we're going to do is we're going to put our boats in here and we're going to paddle upriver or drag upriver a little bit and then we're just going to come back down. The water's very clear here. Cody's got to get these boats off the truck. I'll try and help. I don't know how much of a help I'm going to be. But the Hummer seemed to work fine coming down here. Oh, Everything yeah. was great. I feel very confident in taking this thing way back in the woods now. It's a little weird driving just because you're so low to the ground compared to the uh, the Ford. Yeah, we've gotten so used to the Ford that everything, it just felt so big. And then we get in this little truck again and everything's just so tiny. We feel too big for it, our bodies. Got everything set up, ready to go. Now, if you're wondering what kayaks we have, we have the Vikings Profish GT. Love these things. There's so much storage to be able to put kayak camping gear in here. I opted out for this. They call it a tackle pod, so I could have more storage for all my camera gear. And this huge cavity up here on front. I mean, you can put a ton of stuff. We'll show you whenever we go kayak camping, how much you can fit in here. Not only that, what I really like about these kayaks, these kayaks kind of just go right through the rapid. The kayaks we had before, the Perceptions, they kind of, they didn't go straight through it. It kind of knocked you back a little bit. So these take waves and rapids really well. These were actually designed for the ocean, but it's their smallest of their brand and most stable. What makes them so stable is they've got this pontoon design on the bottom. If you can see, see how the boat has a pontoon shape? It forces water back down and it keeps it from tipping over where other kayaks just go straight up on the edge. So if you get too far on the side, you're gonna tip. With that kind of stability, it makes it where you can stand up on this kayak as well, which is nice when you've been in the seat for hours and your butt starts hurting. It's nice to stand up. We got to our first small rapid and Kelly is killing it. Come on, honey, you can get up it. I got stuck at first, but I went around it. I was gonna walk mine up and then walk yours, but if you think you got yours. Okay, wait, my boat, your boat. I need to hold boats. Rocks are a little slick. Okay. okay. If you can't get it, just hold it. I'll come back. Our so it's good. Yep. All right. We'll probably do two more of these. Oh, well, we came up just a hair further and found ourselves this beautiful spot. And secretly, the other reason I'm stopping here is right up over here, I'm seeing bass at least about 10, 12 inches right over there in that spot. Hey, honey, this has got a sand bottom over here. Yeah, it's all sand right there. Dragonfly. Nuh-uh, sound like a horsefly. So y'all wanna know what Kelly just did? <laughs> she tried a setting on the life jacket. Yeah, for And she I started remember, sinking. You, like you can sit on it and chill. But I started sinking because it's deep right there. And I started floating that way and I've got this beer in my hand and I'm like, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. <laughs> but now I got my footing. Okay. <laughs> Let me get my fishing pole set up. Not using my flower rod today. I thought I'd use this fella. This is my go-to. I have caught more fish with this little crawfish diving bait than I have anything else.
no bites as of yet. But Kelly said that she wants to go further up the river and see what's going on. Honestly, we have never been on this part of the Little Missouri River. That is some clear, clear water. Yeah, I'm shocked that it was still this clear all the way down here. There's a largemouth bass just swimming, and I just want to catch him. Just They're one. Not They're not biting right now. My lure literally hit one in the face, and he just moved a little. He didn't even go for it. They're not So this is happening. The rocks are just way too slippery. You got it. You work out, this is your workout for today. This is why we weight train. Well, that's why he weight trains. I weight train just so that I have a little bit of muscle mass. That's for your joints and bones too. Oh yeah. For women, if you don't know, maintaining a normal schedule of weight training will help with osteoporosis. Keep that in mind, ladies. What you think, Port? We won't, we won't go above them. Those are kind of tall. Ah! Thanks for the ride. Those are pretty though. It's a layer of rock holding it all back, y'all. Look at this. All the way. It's leaning like this. This is a great beach right here. Can we bring our boats up here? Uh, or do you want to lay out right there? I can just chill right here. Okay. If this water was up, that would be a wild little section. This river does have some pretty decent drops, especially around Albert Pike. It's like class fours in that area. But look at this pool right here. Well, I guess I'll try and see if I can catch something right here. All I wanted to do was sit my butt in this water, put my feet in it. I'm dying to kind of see what's back there in that hole, if that's a deep hole or what. I might venture back there here in a little bit. I wanted to show you my view though. Look, I can take my shoes off. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's go venture back here and see if this is a deep hole or not. Oh my gosh. Look at this tropical paradise. And look at this. Fish number three for the day. Wow, it's a little, congrats. It's a, but right look at this. I'm going to come back here in a minute. Let's see if I can get another one. Watch this. Got it. What if that's the same one? No, I saw two of them. Oh, that's way bigger. Little booger. I'm telling you, this little crawfish, man, it's a beast. I have a feeling I might catch a little bit bigger ones here in a little bit. Here you go. They're aggressive, man. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I'm sorry. I'm geeking up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to my spot, but then I'm going to come back over here because I'm enjoying that spot too. I love that big rapid. So my personal opinion, I feel like this is what summer is all about. I feel like we've missed out on so much. Just with the past two years, we've jetted out of the south to get away from the heat because when you're living in a tent, you don't have that option of air conditioner. And now that we have air conditioner in our camper, it makes it to where we can pretty much go wherever we wanna go. You know, when we were in Key West, we had to run the air the entire time. People were camping in Key West, but it was 
very hot and humid. I think the low was only 75 at the coolest when we were there. But I just feel like we've missed out on at least two summers. And I'm not saying we're gonna be here all summer, but it was just nice to experience the creeks and the rivers and the water that you can get in and enjoy. And that, I mean, y'all know, that is what got me to wanna even camp and spend time outdoors. I can tell you right now, I'm having the time of my life. I just love being here. I know Cody's having the time of his life. He's loving fishing. He loves the water, the sound of it. And y'all, this is where it's at. I know it's gonna get hot here pretty soon. Everything's gonna dry up, but we're gonna soak it in as long as we can. Oh, it's just so nice. I can't get over it. I mean, look at me. Well, as y'all saw, the drone self-landed in the water. I haven't told y'all this, but I have been having tons of problems with the drone lately. It's been doing its own things. It's been going haywire. And just now I was trying to fly it back to me and it just self-landed in the water. But that's the first time I've ever had a drone go into the water. It just wouldn't override and it kept wanting to self-land. So we'll see how it does. As you can see, there's water in the lens right now. And also, I've been having problems lately with the batteries. See how it's starting to break apart right there? And right up here, it's cracking. I'm starting to have problems with that as well, where the batteries are overheating. And I just think that they're old. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. I've had this drone since 2020. It's flown a lot. It's done great shots. It's done everything. But I think, I think it's coming to an end, y'all. I don't know. I might might have to do something else but it is five o'clock i did not realize that i was just kind of like man i'm starving let's see if we can get kelly down through that little section you ready honey yeah you just gotta get, oh, get me away from that tree okay Man, this is real nice going down. I'm still on this drone thing, y'all. It said on the controller, detected high heat battery or something like that, and forced landing now. I, I had like 15% battery life left. And matter of fact, I walked over and got it in just a few seconds whenever Kelly said, what happened? I was panicking. Yeah, he came running over. I was like, I'm just chilling. I'm like, what's going on? Might not have a drone here for a little bit. Who knows? We'll see what happens. It might dry out. I don't know. We got, like Kelly says, some new batteries and maybe it's a battery issue. That sounds like a battery issue. High heat detected. The batteries are swelling up. Caught one. First cast. What? Y'all, isn't that a beaut? Let him go. Oh, I got one. Oh, that's a good size one. Got the boats on, and we are starving. 
thing. So hungry. Queen City is not far from here, so we're gonna drive there and check out a food truck that we noticed on Google Maps. I was looking up restaurants. I think we're gonna go there and get something to eat. What you think? Oh man, uh, yeah. Let's do it. First, we got the Austin Powers out of here. Oh no, we got this. We don't. <laughs> this is so much easier than the Ford. <laughs> See, there is great things about that Ford, and then there's great things about the Barajou. Oh, I'm sorry, Pearl. There's great things about Pearl. Pearl. But the Bear Jew, oh, she's a zero turn radius little thing. Look, yeah. that was it. I just Stick backed up. around here. I just backed up. I would have had it done like five backs and forths with Pearl. Austin Bowers. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead to Queen City and check out this food truck. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh. All right, this is a cute little food truck. I guess I'm saying it right, Takieda El Pisano. This is what it looks like. And it smells very good. That's a whole lot to choose from. I'm gonna get a lot. Um, I definitely want one chorizo taco and then a uh, steak burrito. What's the cow uh, Oh, you want a lingua taco? Yeah, can I get a lingua? Uh, one lingua taco. Honestly, half a burrito and one taco is probably gonna fill me up. Uh, I'll just, if I want more, I'll come back. Okay. And then for drink, I'll do a uh, Coke. Cortana? Can I have one of those? Yeah. Oh, I'll definitely take that instead of a Coke. Okay. Yeah. Two of those. Now I have to tell you at this moment, I don't know how much we're gonna be eating, or me anyways, so we have an open tab at this food, I guess you call it a food truck, food it's trailer okay. right now. Oh, it's all of it. Whoa. So this is a steak burrito, chorizo, taco, okay. and then, how do you say that? Lingua. Lingua. Lingua is, I really like it. I always forget what it's, it's called. Tongue. It's cow tongue. I love this stuff. You try the chorizo? Mm -hmm. I'm trying it right now. It's really good. This is huge. Oh my god. I don't even know how we're gonna eat this. Oh my god. It's cool. It's so hot. I don't even know how to how to start. Flatten it out. What? We gorged ourselves. Oh yeah. That was good. So good. We will definitely be back. I've never stopped through the Queen for anything. No. And except for in, gas. If you're in the area and you're hungry, stop by this food truck because it's really good. How do you say it? Uh, Takieda El Pisano. El Pisano. What? El Pisano. <laughs> El Pisano. Takieda. El... Takieda. 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 El, El Pisano. So Anyways, good. we're gonna brush up on our Spanish. But I had an incredible day. I totally enjoy being out on the water, and I can't wait to go kayak camping. This is so fun. Toast. I don't water. have my drink to go. Cheers. Cheers. To a good day. To a good day. All right, y'all. Next time you see us, hopefully we'll be kayak camping. So we'll catch you on the other. Bye.